Hello dear friends and welcome back at Shala from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Today is Marguerite Miller Monday and I'm just going to keep it at that today. Uh, so it will be a shorter video. The reason being is I'm filming this on my birthday and um, yeah I just uh, I got a lot of things going on and I'm working on some special projects behind the scenes that uh, I really want to kind of dedicate my time to to make it um, you know just just more intriguing and, and better and all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, today we are on week 17 and our prompt words are a number or string of numbers, a food packaging label, something with a weather related theme, a bird, a stamp and bonus is lines. <clears throat> Pardon me. So I did gather a few things together and yeah, so I've got the background done with the lines. So those are bonus. And we now have a mystery can of soup in my pantry because I didn't have any other labels. Don't worry, I informed all my family members that it is a can of tomato soup, but you know, it's all good. So I've got this label, uh, Campbell's tomato soup label that I'm going to use as, I think as a pocket. I think that would be fun. And we have a string of numbers. So I've got a string of numbers here and some other numbers that we've stamped earlier. So I'll play with those. Something with a weather related theme. I had a struggles with this, but since uh, it's spring and my birthday's in spring, I did find this. I had cut this uh, out a while ago for, I think a couple weeks ago maybe, for another uh, Marguerite Miller challenge, but it is, um, rain rain and spring and all that goodness so that to me is weather related theme spring um what else do we have a bird i've got my box of birds and a stamp i have i wasn't sure which way to go with this but i do have postage stamps and then we do again have um, some other stamps that i'd like to kind of play with these are some new ones so Let's go ahead and get started. I hope you are all doing well and finding yourselves in your crafty spaces. I'm just gonna find a clip maybe to clip this down because these pages are starting to starting to get chunky. And gator on me just a little bit, but that's okay. I hope you guys were able to check out yesterday's video, my 1K birthday celebration giveaway. I finally got that video up. It is a uh, big mama jamma of um of a package that i'm putting together so if you guys are interested definitely check that video out um, it'll have all the details on there for you on how you can get in on that and yeah let's get started here what do i want what am i feeling um i think i do want to start off with stamping um some of these stamps so i've got the number one ready to go I think I left my other stamp pad upstairs, but that's okay. We've got, what do I have here? I think I have my, yeah, I've got my VersaFine one. We'll just use this. So I hope that um, you guys are doing, yeah, like I said, doing well. It's been a great day. I have been so blessed with so many messages and everything. So yeah. And it looks like we're in for some, that doesn't stamp as nicely as I would like it to. Let's try this again. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully our weather is going to smarten up a bit here and get a little warmer. It started off really nice today and then it got pretty darn chilly on our way back from our walk. But that's spring in, in Calgary for you. Um, yeah, let's try that. Let's push this down. Yeah, so some of the things I'm working on, uh, if, like I said, if you caught my last video, I did manage to pull apart um, all the um, fabric sample books and wallpaper books, and I want to get those packaged up. I'm not sure that's going to get any better. Okay, that's okay. Um, yeah, I want to get that packaged up, let that dry a bit, so that I can get it listed because there is a ton of gorgeous fabrics you guys I cannot wait to share them with you 
I also want to do some videos about journal covers and yeah, just so, lots of things. Now that I'm starting to feel better too, like I'm starting to feel on the mend. Uh, we have some numbers here. Let's pull out a few of these. Yeah, whatever I had, um, definitely like my husband got it too and he is um, struggling as well. So it was a doozy. Whatever we got was a doozy. I know it wasn't COVID because we did test for that. Let's use those. And yeah, it came back negative. So I don't know. I know not. I guess it's just part of getting older, <laughs> right? Um, okay, so we've got some numbers. Oh, I do want to stamp. I need a cloth. Uh, what do I have here? This will work. Um, I do want to stamp some of these words because they're, they're quite cute. It's like wish, adventure, make art, believe. I like that. So we'll use some of those as well just to add in some more stamps. I think I like make art. I want to do that for sure. And definitely believe. That is important. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. So what are you guys working on? Anything exciting? Let's put these two together. I have to, ooh, ding, what's going on? I have to put these kind of backwards. Actually, do I want to do them separately? Yeah, I want to do them separately, I think. Can I get all these words in one stamp? And then I can just rip them apart, maybe. We'll see. Um, that one's believe. Which way does that go? This way, okay. That should fit on there. This is just old book page. Like I save old book page stuff. I just, and it's such a gorgeous color. Yeah. And I'm, oh, and I'm also going to be putting together some um, book page packages as well, because I have a ton of gorgeous um, book pages that I want to share, because I'm never going to be able to use all of them in my lifetime. And if you're struggling to find some interesting papers. Sometimes, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I always find other people's papers and um, scraps um, almost like more exciting than what I have. So it's nice to share, right? Let's get that on there. Hopefully this will stamp. They're new, so I mean, I didn't condition them. And by conditioning, I mean, all you really have to do to condition them is, well, one of two things. Actually, you can use um, the Versa Fine Watermark Ink Pad. That's a great way to condition new stamps to get them nice and sticky to grab the ink because, oh, where is it here? Because this stuff is super, super sticky. It'll help condition your stamp. Or simply another way to do it is just use your, your hand. To tell you the truth the the your body oils will help to kind of t you know make the the what is this polymer sorry words are hard now that you're older um, um help to you know have that um ink um stick to the stamps Whew. okay that was that was harder to say than i imagined uh, all right let's see how did we do Okay, make art is good. I'm not happy with that believe. And I don't think, I don't think I can, we'll, we'll try. Can I get it in the same place? Nope. Okay. We'll try that believe again. So I'm gonna save this. And we'll try this one more time. Let's see, come on, believe. Why does that look weird? Because it's upside down. That's probably why. Okay, let's try one more time. Come on, get in there. Soak up that ink. There we go, ha ha. What does that actually say? Believe for, why does it have a cat down there? Iron for believe. I don't know, but it's fun. It's a cute little stamp. We're going to use it. All right. 
how do we want to lay this out you guys kind of some different items but I think I think I think this I'm just going to tear down here yeah let's tear this I think that's the way to go maybe ink up some edges now this is fragile fragile so I think I will use my waffle flower mat to ink up the edges because I do like the edges inked um what do we want what do we want this are you guys participating in this Marguerite Miller challenge if you are and if you have a channel or um maybe you post on Facebook or something leave your link below I am all about sharing and helping promote other people so if you have a youtube channel go ahead leave your link below so other people can find you let's help lift each other up let's get the word out about your channel okay i think that's one of the things that i really love about our community of junk journalers and mixed media artists I find everybody that I've come across is super, super lovely and supportive. And I don't think I've found any negativity. You know, it may be out there. I have just never seen any negativity in this community, which I love. That's the way it's supposed to be, right? We're supposed to be there for each other, lift each other up, cheer each other on when we're, when we're feeling down or you know going through tough times or you know whatever okay we like this i like this a lot yeah there we go and let us know what you are doing right now what what are you, what's your current project i'm always interested in finding out what What's on everybody's craft tables these days? There's so many things that I want to do. So many creative people who inspire me. Just not enough hours in the day. Okay. Get that done. That looks pretty good. This is, again, going to be one of those collages where I'm not 100% sure at first but I think after I walk away and come back later I'll find it interesting okay and I'm going to do one of the projects I'm going to do is an actual real junk journal so I'm not going to be using any I don't think I'll be using any digitals maybe well not digital pages. I might use some digital images for the ephemera, maybe. But in terms of like the actual pages and stuff itself, I'm going to do in a true junk style. That's kind of my goal. I get so enamored with all the beautiful digitals. And hopefully I can get back to three videos a week. I don't want to overcommit though. Sometimes when you overcommit to things, you just get stuck and your brain just cannot function and create. I end up stifling myself. I feel too much of the pressure. So I got to relieve the pressure and just, I'm definitely going to be doing Marguerite Miller Mondays. That's, that's a given. Um, the Wednesday, Friday ones, I'm still, I'm trying, I'm really trying, but there's darn work and life thing can get in the way sometimes. Don't people know I want to be in here creating and ignoring the rest of the world? <laughs> well, I'm so excited because the day that this video comes out, I get to spend some time with my good friend, Rosanna. She is just such a joy and light in my life. She always is so positive and makes me happy and... She's just one of those friends that brings out the best in you. And I love that. Okay, 
I know it was like super painful to watch me rip this paper and ink it, but that's what I needed to do. So again, you can always fast forward because I won't know. If you want to get to the end and just see how it all turned out, I don't know. Okay. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, got my numbers, stamps. Okay, I like that. Let's put you away and put this away. And lid. There it is. Okay. Now we got to figure out our layout. Oh, let's cut this down. Um, kind of like having the maple leaf there. So I think I'm going to cut on this line. I don't think we need the nutritional information. I might just save that for something else because it is interesting. I do like that. I think that's cool, but let's put that in here. Save that for another day. And then I want to cut down this way. See if I can save the two. Might be a little crooked, but that's all right. I like that on there. I like those colors. So yeah, we've got our lines with the background paper. This I want on this side. I think I want the blue on this side, maybe just to balance it a bit with the belief. Then we'll put orange on this side to balance this side out. We've got some numbers. I want the make art. What am I missing? Do I have it all? I mean, it's not, not too difficult, I think. Okay. Oh, a bird. I need a bird. Where am I going to get my bird in there? What kind of bird do we want? We can have more than one bird. I feel like this guy needs to be in here somewhere. And maybe are these cute little ones, but they kind of get lost in there. Ooh, maybe a bright red one. Okay. Oh, that label is super shiny for you guys. Sorry about that. Um, non BPA lining. Well, that's good. Maybe I'll put that over top of there. How's that look? That's going to be the pocket for this. Ooh, is it going to fit? Yes, if I cut it down. Okay, should we get gluing? I think so. Just kind of a little bit of a whimsical, whimsical collage today. <laughs> yeah. Leave numbers. Do we need another number over here? I think so. Do you want to be over there? Let's put you a little lower down. Yeah, I think that's okay. Sure, let's just go with it. Let's start on this side. Let's glue this stamp down. I love going um, online and seeing what everybody else has done for their prompts for the collages. So there's a hashtag. If you, if you are, you know, following along, again, you can hit that hashtag that's at the top of the prompts and that will take you to other people's creations. There's so many talented people out there. Y'all just inspire me so, so much. The worst part is, is I go and look at these things, like kind of my downtime, which is right before I go to bed, <laughs> which is, I know, the absolute worst time to be on the old digital device. One, because obviously screens stimulate your brain, right? And so you don't Sometimes you don't necessarily get the best sleep, but I think it's more, I get so inspired and then 
I want to go do all the things that I've seen and create and my brain won't shut off and and I just can't can't sleep okay that's that's down that's down you need to go down and I am going to be putting up my all things roses flip through shortly here I got to get that up and done and then it'll be posted on my oops oh my uh I'm sorry every video I feel like I'm dropping stuff <laughs> throwing stuff around making a mess uh, yeah so I'll be posting the all things roses journal on my Kofi site my mother's day journal um once that video goes up so once you see the video it'll be posted I like how that one turned out it's just a few finishing touches I want to do to it as one does and then it'll be good to go okay you know I said this is a going to be a quick video but we're already at 20 minutes in I guess <laughs> I need to stop rushing myself when I create and just enjoy the process. Now, I was thinking about rounding the corners, but no, I don't think that's a good idea because everything is kind of jagged and we've got straight lines and jagged lines. Round would not be good. So I'm gonna leave this as is, but I'm going to use I think I'll use glue stick for this because it is magazine paper. I have a feeling that the art glitter glue will just be a little bumpier than underneath than I like. I'll just put that there. Great. Now let's work on the other side. What do we have here? We've got this postage stamp. Know where this one is from it looks Russian or Ukrainian I can't read that what does that say not exactly sure and I don't know that kind of looks like it's not a koala bear but 1970 what is this one this one's Canadian home 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 love my Canada although let me tell you things are getting getting tough around here I don't know about where you guys are but everything is skyrocketing for price like rent if you rent I am so sorry for you because it is super expensive I don't understand how rent is like the same amount as a mortgage payment but you can't qualify for a mortgage but they're like, yeah, you can spend $1,800 a month on rent. No problem. And then that doesn't even include, that doesn't include utilities or anything like that, right? Ugh, I, it's crazy. And then gas and, ugh, being an adult really sucks, actually. What an evil trick to grow up. <laughs> okay. I think we just need some some change in leadership maybe I don't know I don't know we need some okay that is gonna go there I love tomato soup it is one of those comforting soul warming things that when I'm feeling sick or down a good cup of soup is yummy yummy tomato soup with grilled cheese sandwiches mm -mm. yes please okay I think we've got everything down yeah now we just need to go ahead and cut that down right Yes. Okay. What kind of scissors do we want to use this time? I always like to do decorative edges on 
those. And I just have this cheap set of scissors from Michael's. Well, that one looks good. Let's do that. Okay. And my next question for you guys is, what is your favorite crafting tool? What is something that you just cannot do without? That one's a hard one for me personally because I just, I have so many tools that I'm like, yeah, they're my like go-to tools, right? I don't know. Love me my ink. I like to ink the edges of things. That's the dark one. Oh, there it is. And I think my tweezers are one, my reversible tweezers. That's something I can't live without, especially for small items. Because I feel like some days I'm all fat thumbs and all. Okay. And then that'll go in there. All right. Well, we did it. Let's do a quick flip through because we are four months in, 17 weeks. Let's just do a quick, quick flip through. Real quick. So this is where we started. My word of the year is routine. And I've kind of, well, I've kept the routine of Mondays. So that's what this is about. If all else fails, I wanted to just keep doing Marguerite Miller. So look at this one. I love this. This reminds me of my dear friend, Brenda. She sadly passed away, but these are her, her pictures. Love her dearly. I like this. I like the black and white of this lion. It's kind of cool. Oh, this page. That's cool. Oh, and I forgot about that. The moose. Yes, Rosanna, they do exist even though you've never seen them. Oh, my dear dad and mom. Love it. Yeah, I go back and I'm looking at these and, you know, maybe at the time I wasn't so wild about them, but it's fun to go back and just take a peek at them. I like that. That was fun. Adding a little lace. Oh, so cool. My mom's handwriting. Doesn't she have the most neatest handwriting ever? I wish my handwriting looked like that. And baking powder biscuits. Oh, that's my grandma's recipe. This picture cracks me up. Geriatric capsules for people over 35. If you're over 35, you're geriatric. Seriously. It's so funny. This, I like this too. This little belly band with these little brads. And the clock. This paper was fun to make just with some um, texture paste. A little wax seal. Ooh. Oh, I forgot I put, yes, yeah, some, some smelly um, candle wax on there. It smells pretty. And this little, little tag, clothing tag. I like. This is paper from the All Things Roses collection from Junk Journal Studio. That is a great kit. Love this. I love this little kid in his little explorer outfit. This one's cute too. I like the map. I like the little feather on this one. Gloria Vanderbilt. Oh, I forgot I added that washi around there. That was kind of cool. Ah, oh, this one. This one is so cool too. I love, ah, oh, this is Seven Plaza's free digital kit over on Kofi. Love, love, love. And of course our aviation ladies. And then today. So I know that it was kind of an odd video, but like I said, it is my special birthday. So I am 
kind of busy doing lots of things uh, with the family but I wanted to pop on here and get this done so that I could post it for Monday which is obviously the day you're watching this so yeah all right my friends I thank you all so very much for joining me for this very quick video I hope you have an amazing rest of the day stay tuned because I am going to have some fun projects coming up and definitely if you haven't seen yesterday's video which is the 1k giveaway go over make sure you're a subscriber and do that special comment and yeah you'll be entered into receiving a plethora of goodies to get you going on your junk journal adventure all right guys enjoy the rest of your day and remember p.s i love you <laughs>